Yo, what's going everyone? Saints fan here, and I thought that since I've done a few videos in the past talking about things I want to see added into GTA Online, why not do a video of things I want to see removed from GTA Online? And that's what this video is. It's going to be the top seven things that I want to see removed that I think would make the game a better game. You guys obviously can have your own opinions. Let me know whatever features that are in the game now that you would like to be removed in the comment section. I'm interested to hear your thoughts. And these are in no particular order. I'm just going to go through the list I wrote them down in. But number one, the homing launcher. This was added because a lot of people were complaining how jets and tanks and all that stuff were overpowered. But now it's the opposite. The, the homing launcher is overpowered. If they would have balanced it right, it would have been a nice addition to the game. But considering the fact there is no level cap on it, and except for the cargo bob, it shoots down any helicopter or jet in one hit, it's super annoying. A way to maybe fix that if they did have a level cap, say level 100, I mean that's what you get the RPG at, that's what you get a few vehicles that were DLC cars at, it wouldn't be as bad, although nowadays, you know, pretty much everybody's level 100, so you would still have people shooting you down. The most logical choice is to just make it one or two hits to those really high-end military vehicles like the Hydra or the, the Savage or the Valkyrie, stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't make sense that a few thousand dollar weapon can take down uh, a million or two million dollar aircraft so the homing launcher is something that i would not be sad if it was removed from the game while we're on this weapon talk the next thing would be proximity mines or all weapons for that matter in gta races there's a lot of super awesome gta races out there that just get absolutely ruined by people Having the ability to throw sticky bombs or throw proximity mines or get out their car and use RPGs, it's super annoying. It may not happen to everybody. This could just be something that I deal with just because people on stream, you know, if I'm playing, you know, with 30 or 16 people, however many people are in the lobby, they just want to be trolls. But still, I, I would like to see an option for GTA races because some of the races you need the pickups, you need the, the, uh, the boost for it. But I don't want to see people throwing sticky bombs or throwing those proximity mines because it's just, it's so annoying in races. And it almost makes me not want to play GTA races, which again sucks because there are so many awesome ones out there. All right, number three. This is my personal opinion. I don't like the way they did this. I, I understand why they did it, but I don't like the way they did it. But I want blips to go back to normal. I mean, ideally, in an ideal world, I would rather no blips on the map just because I think it, it would be more intense if you just came across random people but if they don't do that then i would rather blips go back to normal just because like yeah now a days you know if somebody's in a tank or you know if somebody's in a jet and they're coming after you but it kind of ruins like the gameplay in my opinion say what you want about tanks back in the day but it was super exhilarating when you turn the corner thinking that it's just some random guy in a car you know on the mini map but it's a guy in a tank and then you're like, oh shit, I got to get out of here before he blows me up. And it just, it adds that excitement to the game. And because now you know where people are at, if they're above you or below you, if they're in a helicopter or a jet or if they're in a tank, you kind of miss that. And again, I know not everybody would want that, but for me, I miss those moments in GTA Online. Another thing I would like to see removed is the voice chat. I want to see it turned into proximity chat like Red Dead Redemption has. Ideally, if you could combine that one with the, the last one, like having no blips on the radar and proximity chat, that would be pretty cool. Like imagine the situation, you're near somebody, but they don't see you and you're just talking in proximity chat. That person's got to be freaking out because he knows somebody's around him, but he can't figure out where they are. You could troll a lot of people with that. You can have a lot of fun with that. You could also pretend you're an NPC driver and nobody would ever know, potentially. Plus, a proximity chat would remove, for the most part, people, you know, annoying people talking over the mics. Obviously, unless you were around them, but it would be a much more immersive experience in GTA Online if it had proximity chat. Because then, you can actually use your cell phone to call people if you weren't near them. Like, you had a friend in the lobby. Hey, let's call each other. And now we can talk to each other whenever we want. Yeah, you being in Skype or TeamSpeak or a party chat kind of defeats the purpose, but... That just sounds so cool to me. You actually utilizing your cell phone and not knowing where people are and not hearing people unless they were around you. The fifth thing I want to see removed are the restrictions that are given for different pieces of clothing only being able to be placed on your character 
with specific types of clothing. I have talked about this one in the past, but I just, I don't know why it's the case. Like, why won't you let us put a scarf on with a, a Valentine's Day vest? That one's pretty self-explanatory. I'm not going to go too uh, detailed with it just because I have talked about it a lot in the past, but yeah, restrictions on clothing definitely need to be removed. And then the last two things, six and seven, these are just annoyances that I think nobody really likes. I, I can understand why Rockstar put these into the game, but they weren't implemented right, in my opinion. Like, it's just, nobody ever cares for these things. They're just super annoying, and every time they happen, people just get frustrated. Those two things being gang attacks on key spots, such as airports or locations where you pick up Pegasus vehicles, and then getting a bounty from stealing an NPC car. One $9,000, I don't, I mean, it, unless you're an active bounty hunter in GTA Online, nobody cares about $9,000. Maybe at the beginning of the game, yeah, I understand, like I said, I understand why Rockstar put them in, but I just, it's super annoying. You're like, all right, let me get in this car because I have to go ride to my apartment, and then two seconds later, oh, here's a $9,000 bounty from a dead person. Or actually, you know, kind of combining that with the whole Simeon thing, when you get two stars for stealing <laughs> cars, that's just... It's just annoyances like that that I would like to see removed. And then the gang attacks, that's just self-explanatory. I don't know who thought of that at Rockstar. Like, you know what? How can we make people even more upset at this game? How can we piss people off? Let's put, while they're trying to get into their helicopter, while it takes like the five seconds to load up and to, to start flying, let's put a gang attack at the same location so they get shot at and... And maybe they'll die, maybe they won't, but their helicopter that they just purchased from Pegasus is now smoking and it's probably going to die anytime now. So, I, I, you know, those things, it just upsets me whenever they do happen. But that was my list. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Let me know your list as well. But thank you guys for watching. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. See you guys in the next one. As always, it's your boy Saints Phantom out. Peace.